All right, hi, welcome back, Attorney Steve Honor, and welcome to another exciting episode of Litigation Whiteboard. All right, today we're talking about an underused tool in the litigator's toolbox, judgment on the pleadings. What's this all about? Let's find out. Without further ado, head to the Attorney Steve Litigation Whiteboard. All right, we are back. All right, so... Usually when there is a complaint filed, a defendant will have multiple options. They can just file an answer. That's easy. You just file an answer. You dispute everything. Say, ah, it wasn't me. I didn't do that. No, wrong, wrong. Deny, deny, deny. Uh, another option is to file a Rule 12B motion to dismiss. Okay, so you can file a motion to dismiss on various grounds. Lack of subject matter jurisdiction, lack of personal jurisdiction, failure to properly service of process right here, uh, failure to state a claim or a cause of action upon which relief can be granted. Some of the some of the common ones that you would see and you can file the 12B6 and usually what will happen, however, is if you file the 12B6, the plaintiff if you're found to defendants found as that's a great motion to dismiss usually the court is obligated if it makes sense to allow a opportunity for the plaintiff to amend the complaint so um there's a, usually it's uh, the the usual rule on amending pleadings is shall be liberally granted in the interest of justice so if you can make a claim for amendment the courts will usually allow it so you might get a free shot at amendment so the 12b6 is the initial motion you can bring to what we call win without trial okay this is you can try to win without trial with this, you can try to win without trial with what we're going to talk about here. Judgment on the pleadings, that's 12BC, as in Charlie. And I should say Charlie horse, because you can really wreck your opponent's claim with these. Rule 12C, or like a motion for summary judgment. These are some of the main ways you, you get rid of a case, okay? Winning without trial, as we say here. Winning without trial, okay? Okay. So the 12B6 is one thing you can do. That is usually before you file your answer, okay? You can try to get, and by the way, I have a video on this. Uh, check or just Google um, motion to dismiss under my YouTube page. Just Google that. You'll find my video on that if you want more information about that. But let's say an answer is filed and... It could be a good answer. It could be solid, tight with good affirmative defenses, counterclaims, things like that. Or it could, um, frankly, be lacking. It could be basically admitting that what you did was wrong. And if that's the case, a plaintiff can move for judgment on the pleadings, okay? So um, this is usually filed after the answer is filed. And you may, in either party, now usually in a Rule 12b motion to dismiss, usually it's going to be your defendant is the one that the claim is asserted against. The defendant will have the right to do that, try to get that case kicked out of there. You Sometimes you see one, two, three amendments and then have it kicked out of there. So that's one way to get rid of a case. But say you say, well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to give the plaintiff a chance to amend. I don't want to. I want to see if I can clip the case, clip it out. Um, file. The, you might see somebody file the answer and then file the Rule 12C judgment on the pleadings. Okay, so this is asking the court to say, look, judge, look at the complaint, look at the answer. These are the pleadings. Look at any exhibits and make your decision. Is there a valid claim or defense or is there not? Either party can request the court to do that to one or more claims or defenses. The judge may grant one or more claims or defenses. Then they may they say may say, well, I'll knock out your first claim for breach of contract and your, your third claim for uh, copyright infringement, but I'm gonna keep the other claims. Um, so something like that could happen where the case would continue on the remaining claims, okay? So the cool thing about this, either party can file if the um, answer basically admits liability then you say well i'm gonna as a plaintiff i'm gonna i'm gonna seek judgment on the pleading get this case out of here get it clipped out of here again the party may seek a um a, a right to amend that will be up to the sound discretion of the court as we say uh, but that's your rule 12c this is usually after the answer 
usually where there's no dispute regarding the facts or the law, where you say, look, there's this person is bringing an, an unrecognizable legal claim, legally cognizable claim. And that would be good grounds to bring your Rule 12c, baseless claims and defenses. And basically, you're telling the judge, I want judgment as a matter of law, that there's no reason of, no reason to impanel a jury. Let's get down. Let's cut it out. Let's get it out of here. So it's a good, effective tool when there is basically a, a facially uh, defective pleading, okay, an answer or defense, facially defective, obvious, because in these, in ruling on these decisions, it's just like a Rule 12b6 motion over here, motion to dismiss. It's the same standard that the judge is going to be applying. They're going to give all inferences, all reasonable inferences to the non-moving party, to the non-moving party. So you got it's got to be pretty clear cut such that the judge would stamp it and say, okay, that's it, case over. Now, if the judge does that, case over. Um, there is grounds to appeal because the judge is saying the case is over. You could you could take the case up on appeal. And again, amendment might be provided. But again, court is only going to look to your complaint and exhibits. If one party tries to bring up something and say, well, well, wait a second, there's one thing over here, judge, that I just found. Judge is gonna, the judge could convert it. I had this happen to me one time many years ago when I was a young lawyer. The judge says, well, I'm converting this to a motion for summary judgment. And I was like, oh, geez, wow, I guess I can't do that. So the judge could then order discovery and you get a, you know, so anyway. So, but this is judgment on the pleadings rule FRCP. We're talking about federal rules now. This is not your state rules. Check your state laws. FRCP, Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, Rule 12, C as in Charlie. If you win, it's C as in Charlie Horse. Oh, my case. Oh, my case. Where'd it go? Uh, but anyway, uh, this is general legal information only, not legal advice. But I just wanted you litigators out there to be aware of this valuable tool that could come in very, very handy and help you win without a trial.